Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a limited spawn. So this means only a certain amount of objects can be spawned through a spawner into the world. And if it reaches a limit, you can't spawn any more until some of those objects die and then you start spawning some more. So let's get into it and let's learn. Alright, so we're going to change this to game logic and also going to change this to blender game, of course. And we are going to want to delete all of this garbage and add in a MD. So I think a t -t -t single arrow MD will be good. Because it kind of can tell us where we're going to be shooting out of. So I want it to be kind of shooting in a uh, 45 degree angle. So we're just going to rotate rotate it on about 45 degrees. Alright, so now we're going to select this and move all this move that out of the way and we're going to add a, a button so you can add whatever you like I think I'm gonna go with space um, you can call it space bar I'm just gonna call it here so you can leave his keyboard so you're gonna just leave it as keyboard um, all right so what we're gonna do now is add a edit object and connect this up so as you can see here we've got a, a slot for a object which we're going to add there's other types here but we're going to be using the add object type so what we're going to need to do is add in a object which we're going to want to add in in the game so I think Icosphere will do fine um, we are going to come over here to the physics panel and make this a rigid body and uh, collision bounds um, sphere That'd be fine. Yep, false. Alright. So, what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to come into our object panel and select our icosphere. Now, if you want to, you could come over here and rename it if you have lots of icospheres and you can't find it, but since we only have like a couple of objects, it doesn't really matter. Alright. So, if we were to press play and try to do it, as you can see, nothing's happening. And the reason for that is you cannot have the object you're going to add on the same layer as the 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 shooting the the emitter. So this this object can never be in the game unless it's added, kind of. So put it in a far away layer that you're never going to use. All right. So now if we press play, as you can see, we have our objects been added. So. I'm going to add a little bit of velocity to this, so make sure we turn on local, which is going to mean it's going to shoot from the local um, coordinates or the rotation of this object. So make sure we have local velocity. So we, if we shoot it from the Z, it's going to shoot up in this direction instead of shooting up in this direction. So if we change the Z to something like 10, what you will see is a getting fired out and as you can see we can just keep firing 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 and we can have as many objects as we like so what we want to do is to limit these objects so we're going to go here and we're going to add a integer and this is just going to be called add you can call it whatever you like um wait and add add l add limit All right so we want to basically take one away from this property every time a object is fired. So if we come here and add a property, connect this up, and if we say add L, if L is not, oh, sorry, yeah, property, and you want to change this to add, and you want to go minus one. All right. So, if we were to click this, which is going to show the property up in the side corner, we also need to enable show debug properties right here. If we enable both of those, press play, as you can see, when we show it at minus is 1. So, if we were to give this a number like 10 or something, what you will see is we can keep going and it just keeps minusing and keeps adding. So, we want to add a limit of 10 are basically in the world at a time so we can add a property here and we're going to say add l is equal to um, 
0, if it's not equal to 0, should we say, and then we can exit this up. So as long as it's not equal to 0 and we are pressing space, it's going to add an object and minus 1. So what you'll see is we can add them, add, 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 add. Once we get to 0, we can't add them anymore. All right. So what we want to do is have these these cubes, uh, these these spheres die, right? So, what what you could do is come here and set the time to like ten, right? What you see is they die after a cup of a ten 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 ticks, logic ticks, right? So, what you want to do instead, because when we do this, when they die. It um it doesn't we want it when they die we want it to re add a number to the L thing so we can add more in once they've died. So if we come over here to our um icosphere and if we were to add a delay and select this delay to something like one hundred and if we were to set that to edit object end object and then we were to connect this up and connect it up what you'll see is after 100 ticks it dies All right so what we want to do here is we want to add a another um actuator and we want this to be a message actuator and we want to be sending a message to empty and um by the way you can leave the slot um empty <laughs> you can just have nothing in here and just put a subject and it'll broadcast it to all the objects but if you just want to target a certain object you can use this so we might as well so we're gonna go end all right for the subject and then we're going to connect this up all right, so if we come back to our first layer and add a message actuator, a sensor, sorry, onto our uh, admitter kind of thing, and we say end, and if we go property and connect this up, if we add to L11, what you'll see, oh, zoom out a little bit, it's all four, it will die, you can just add lots, and basically, it's always, always, you never can have more than ten objects in your scene of this type, at least you have another emitter, and then it might get a little bit more complicated, but, you go, that's how you set it up. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial, comment them down below. And you can also subscribe to get updated every single week when I come out with a new tutorial. And I'm almost at 200 subscribers, and I might already be at 200 subscribers by the time it releases. So thanks to everyone that subscribed to me, and let's go.